Hello, friends and colleagues. My name is Dean Morton. I am a professor in the Department of Prosthodontics at Indiana University School of Dentistry. I am also director of our Center for Implant Aesthetic and Innovative Dentistry, and I chair our ITI Scholarship Center. Today, we will consider when analog, when digital, when both. Over the years, dentists have developed and improved upon procedures that provide successful, satisfying, and safe treatments for our patients. These treatments have been removable and fixed, and both alternatives can be improved by appropriate use of dental implants. As a profession, we have documented outcomes and shared evidence. And it is this evidence that provides treatment teams with confidence and the stimulus to change and improve. All treatment though has the same starting point and ending point. From sick teeth or no teeth to healthy teeth or implant supported prostheses in some form is what we try and achieve. Dental implants have changed how we manage both complete and partial edentialism and the outcomes we can expect. Evolving pathways for utilization of dental implants make treatment more accessible, more affordable, and more predictable. Choices are available. There is no one correct pathway, and both analog and digital pathways can produce satisfying outcomes. Each treatment team operates within their own environment. Variations exist with regards to access to technology. Each team works within their own range of skill, own depth of experience, and their own level of education. These factors drive decision-making. How do we collect data? How do we confirm the accuracy of the data? 